Hello, my name is Eric Happy, Director of Distance Education at Center for Advanced Legal Studies, and I want to provide a short video demonstrating how to access Canvas, our learning management system, for the first time. You'll need to access Canvas to be able to join the live online orientation that's going to take place later this week. I'm at our homepage at paralegal.edu. This is our website homepage, and you'll notice that there's a Canvas link right here in the main menu. So I'm going to click this link and that's going to get me to the Canvas login page. I just want to point out that the actual URL for our login is paralegal.instructure.com. Uh, please make sure that you're always logging in at this location, otherwise you may get errors, uh, password errors, if you're trying to access some other institution's Canvas site. So you should have received an email from me containing your Canvas login credentials. It's going to be a combination of your paralegal.edu email address, which is going to be firstname.lastname at paralegal.edu, and a temporary password that was automatically or automatically generated. So you'll want to key those in. So it'll be your paralegal.edu email address, which will be firstname.lastname, and your password. Click login and you're taken to the dashboard of Canvas. It should look similar to this. Now the first thing you'll see are any uh, active announcements that are being displayed. This is an announcement that was uh, intended for current students and it has some information about uh, our move to Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Uh, for you guys, you'll be starting off with Blackboard Collaborate Ultra from the beginning, so it's not quite as important. Uh, you'll see that there are some tiles for some classes. Uh, I'm enrolled in a lot of classes, but you'll probably only see one tile. Perhaps the only one you'll see initially is the online readiness tile. And that's the one that we'll focus on here in just a minute. But I want to show you real quickly how to update your password or change your password uh, to make it something a little bit easier to remember. So if you go up to uh, where it says account and then click on profile, you'll see your profile settings. Now there's a lot of things going on here and I'll talk about a lot of this during orientation. The one thing I'd like for you to do if possible is to go ahead and, and change your password to something more secure and easier to remember than that uh, automatically generated password. So uh, a lot of times you'll see just hey, change password but with Canvas they make it a little bit harder to find. You need to click over here on edit settings and that'll give you a password dialog and you'll have a little checkbox here. So to change your password you just check this little box and then you can uh, proceed with a password reset. Uh, you'll have to put in that temporary password and then you can create a new password and then you'll have to confirm your password. So that's something that uh, a lot of people set their Canvas password to maybe be the same as their email address password, you know, their email password just to make it easy to remember. Uh, but you'll just want to make sure it's uh, somewhat secure. So I'm going to cancel out of this because I'm not changing my password. And then we'll go back over to the dashboard. Now again, you should see a tile for online readiness, but if you don't, for some reason, if you don't automatically see a tile, you can always click down here on Courses, and then All Courses, and that'll list all the courses that you're uh, enrolled in and even some past courses. Of course, I'm in a bunch of courses. You may only have one. Uh, if you're looking at this video a little bit later, you may have also your Introduction Law and Ethics course and your Interviewing and Investigation course. But uh, typically, Canvas will by default put them on your dashboard. So to access live orientation, which is typically on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central, you'll want to find your online readiness course. So we're going to click on this course and you're presented with a course homepage. Now I'm seeing a, a little bit different view here. Let me go, I'm going to change to the student view, uh, make it look a little bit more like what you guys will, will see. Uh, so and now it, it looks a little bit more like uh, your view that you'll see. So you'll see we're at the home page. Uh, there's a syllabus. There's a Collaborate Ultra link. That's a very important link. And then there's some other links here. For now, we're just going to talk about the home page and Collaborate Ultra. So I've put all of the information that you'll need to attend uh, live orientation. Uh, it's going to be held Thursday, January 26th. If you're watching this video at some time in the future, of course, it'll be a different date. Uh, but it's always at 7 p.m. Central. Uh, 
as far as the time. I've also included uh, some of the slides, or, or actually the full presentation for orientation here. Uh, if you want to uh, download these, this link over here to view in a new window, typically if you click that it'll either display it in a, a new uh, browser window or give you the option to download it. Uh, if you want to just preview, uh, not actually open it in a new tab, but just kind of preview it, it's got a, a preview functionality and you'll see it pop up here. So uh, these are the slides that we'll be going over uh, during orientation. If you want to close this preview then you can just click minimize file uh, right there. Uh, there's some other things that we'll talk about but in particular there's some canvas videos for students and these are some videos that you might want to watch uh, just to get a little bit more familiar with canvas. But to attend live orientation it's pretty simple. You log into canvas, you go to your online readiness course, and then you click the Collaborate Ultra link. So I've gone ahead and changed out of the student view so that I could add a session. Uh, typically in, in the Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, there's a couple different options that we may choose to enable or disable. Uh, you'll see from my view there's, a, there's actually a course room that's disabled. You probably wouldn't even see this room, but that's basically a persistent room that's always available. We never have live class in a course room, so if you do run across a course room, and you're intending to attend a live class session, don't enter that room. Uh, that's just a room where the instructor might be going in to pre-record lectures or pre-record other content. The uh, live class will always be scheduled below. You'll see that it'll have the name of the course, which might be something like Introduction to Law and Ethics or Civil Procedure or Family Law. It'll also have the, the date and time that it starts and the date and time that it ends. Uh, so in this case, live orientation is going to be this Thursday at 7, but you can see that it's grayed out. It's not blue like this session above it. That's because it's not quite available. Uh, sessions only become available an hour before they actually start. So I've created a, just a sample uh, Collaborate Ultra demonstration session just to show you what it's like to enter Collaborate Ultra and kind of configure your system. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And one thing I didn't mention that uh, is actually incredibly important is the browser that you use to join these sessions is very important. I'm using Google Chrome. Google Chrome is far and away the most recommended browser to use. The only other browser that supports the technologies used in Collaborate Ultra is Mozilla Firefox. Uh, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, Safari, none of those browsers have all of the feature sets enabled. Um, primarily because this is using a new set of technology called uh, WebRTC or real-time communication. So you definitely want to use Google Chrome. Uh, a distant second would be Mozilla Firefox and I would not recommend using any other browser. Uh, if you're joining a session via your phone, um, your phone browser may support uh, the live connection, but I would try to install the Google uh, Chrome browser for your phone as well. So anyway, enough about browsers. Uh, just remember to use Google Chrome. Um, we are currently the only uh, one in the room. This is what it looks like when you join a Collaborate session. Uh, there's a couple uh, things to point out. This this large area here, that's the, the media area. That's where all the content will be displayed. Over here on the left, this is a session menu. And this is where you can, uh, if you're an instructor, you can start the recording. Uh, but it's also where you can access help and leave the session. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. What we're interested in is just testing our audio and video to make sure that once we have, uh, once orientation is in progress, if you have any questions, I'll be able to see and hear you. So if you go over to the uh, Collaborate panel and you open it, click, just open it. Uh, there's the chat area. This is where you can chat and ask questions. Uh, there's the participants uh, area where you can see who are the moderators or the participants. I'm the only one in the room currently. Uh, this is something that usually your instructors will only see. These are uh, tools that they can use to share applications or, or share files. What we're interested in is the My Settings. So essentially to get to My Settings, you can just click on the Collaborate panel to open it and then on My Settings. And this is where you can set up your camera 
and microphone. Now I don't know if it'll work for me because I'm actually doing a screen capture with a different application so it may not let me do this but I'm going to try anyway. So right now I'm using a, uh, a headset. It's a micro, uh, Microsoft Live Chat headset you can also drop down there could be other I also have a, a, a webcam that I could be using that but I'm gonna leave it here and it says I sound great you can see this is moving up and down as I speak so you then you can say yes it's working so now here I am well wow, there we are and so uh, I can tell that my video is working it's working and so I'm going to say yes it's working so now we're good to go um, if I wanted to speak, I could click on my microphone to turn it on. I could click on my video to turn it on. Let me close that out. And uh, then everyone, if I if I wanted to, everyone could see and hear me. Uh, typically, we recommend that unless you're actually engaged in a conversation, that you leave those off. Uh, if we have, you know, 10 or 15 or 30 people in a classroom, if everyone has their audio and their video on, it just becomes kind of a... Uh, can be kind of noisy and hard to understand. So uh, typically what we ask is if you have a question, you just raise your hand. And you'll notice here that, that your hand's also raised next to your name in the participants list. So your instructor or I in online orientation will uh, recognize that you have a question. To lower your hand, you just click it. But that's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, log into Canvas with the credentials that have been provided. Access your online readiness course click the Collaborate Ultra link, and then set up your uh, audio under My Settings. Just make sure that uh, you can use your camera and your microphone. Uh, things like use your phone for audio is really a kind of a last uh, or worst case uh, situation. Everything should be done through your browser. Again, quick reminder, use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, but I highly recommend Google Chrome. Anyway, hopefully this hasn't taken too much time to get a little bit more familiar with Canvas and Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. I look forward to seeing you all in orientation Thursday evening. Until then, this is Eric at Center for Advanced Legal Studies.